8, we need to determine which of the following is an odd function. So we have three choices to check, but remember that an odd function, a function is odd if you know that, meaning if you plug in negative x instead of x in the function, you get the opposite of your original function. If that is true, then you have an odd function. So let's check all three of these here. So first we have sine of absolute value of x. So what we want to do is if we plugged minus x instead of x into that function, what happens? Well, if we plug in minus x instead of x, the absolute value makes it the same thing as it was before, and we get the exact same function back. We don't get the opposite of the function, so this is not odd. Next we have x squared times absolute value of x. Again, if we substitute minus x in for x, squaring something that was negative make, gives it the exact same number. Absolute value of something that was negative makes it the exact same number. So again, we get the exact same function, so that is not odd. So that gives us our last function, but let's just check to make sure. If we plug in negative x here, we would get minus x cosine of minus x. But remember that cosine is an even function, so cosine of minus x is the same thing as cosine of x. So this is equal to minus x cosine of x. In other words, the exact opposite of what we started with. So that is our odd function there, which is answer choice C.